Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are watching A Quiet Place, part two. Before we get into the rest of the video, let's have a word from today's sponsor, Helix Sleep. Helix makes premium mattresses and bedding and conveniently ships them right to your door. Hey! Jeez, Natalia, you scared me. You think that's scary? I'll tell you what's really scary, getting a poor night's sleep on a bad mattress. That's why I'm obsessed with my Dusk Lux from Helix. I literally haven't seen you in months. I thought you quit. The only thing I'm quitting is my afternoon nap. Seriously, since receiving my mattress, my quality of sleep has gotten so much better and I wake up each morning feeling totally well rested, ready to take on the day. Wait, are you actually doing an ad read right now? I can't believe this. And I can't believe that Helix delivers right to your door and with free shipping in the US. Plus their mattresses are fiberglass free and super easy to set up right outside of the box. Huh, something about this doesn't feel right. I'll tell you what does feel right, my Dusk Lux mattress. It has just the right balance of firmness and support while still feeling super luxurious and plush. Am I dreaming? The only thing I'm dreaming of is Helix's sleep quiz that tests for factors like firmness preferences, back pain, and sleeping positions, so they're able to find the mattress that's perfect for you. 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 <gasps> oh, what a weird dream. I almost wish it was real. Wakey, wakey! Ah! Make sure to try out Helix for yourself. With their 100 night sleep trial and their 10 year warranty, you'll get plenty of time to ensure that you love your mattress. Plus they offer flexible payment plans and financing options. I love my Helix and I think that you would too. So if you're looking for a new bed, consider clicking the link in my description or going to helixsleep.com slash Natalie Gold to get 20% off of your new Helix sleep mattress plus two free pillows. Thank you so much to Helix again for sponsoring this video. They've been a longtime sponsor of the channel now, so I really appreciate it a lot. And thank you all so much for listening to the sponsor. Now, with all that being said, let's get back into the video. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here and welcome if you're new. Today, we are diving on into A Quiet Place Part 2. It's been a while since I've seen the first one, and man, that movie was moving, really dramatic, really intense, scary, but really just kind of felt like a soap opera, to be honest, in the best possible way, like a soap opera with the best budget, the best sound designers, the best actors, and a great script. Like not a cheesy soap opera, but like a soap opera in the sense that it was so dramatic and um, just <laughs> really made me cry the whole time while still being horrified. Really well done, really great movie. And I'm really excited to check out part two with y'all. I'm definitely not looking forward to the jump scares and the horror and the tension because uh, these movies tend to affect me a lot. But I think if I can just get through this one without crying quite as much as the first one, I will feel accomplished. Likely that's not gonna happen though. So I'm really stoked to just hop on into this one. But real quick, I just wanna quickly mention that for those of y'all that don't know, I do have a Patreon page. I always link that in the description bar down below. If you'd like to watch these movies along with me in a full length watch along style format, that's where you can do that. You can also vote in polls over there and help me decide what I watch next. This was in a great poll filled with lots of scary movies. So I definitely value your guys' input put a lot over there. And if you're not able to join the Patreon, but you're not sick of my face for some reason, you could just check out my other channel, Natty Gold, where I do live streams, gaming content, and other kinds of reactions and fun videos. Just living my best life being chronically online. Anyway, that's all I really have to say. I am just excited to get on into this. So if y'all are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into A Quiet Place, part two. Oh God. We're getting back into that world that's oh so quiet. It's going to be really unsettling. Oh, this is in the past. Miss you, John. I don't remember your character name. Oh, the toys. This is the same store, isn't it? I had no idea that John Krasinski was going to be in this movie at all. I guess it makes sense to expect flashbacks a little bit, but. First time through the order? Third. Oh. Uh, Third. Killian! Ball, good, good, good eye, good control. Oh, it's starting. He's gonna be the last kid that plays baseball. Oh no, he's not gonna get to hit the ball, huh? What would your first thought be if you saw something like this? Cause my first thought honestly would be meteor that like we're going out like the dinosaurs. Cause that was kind of a big fear of mine for a really long time was that like a meteor would hit the planet and we'd go into like a radioactive winter and it would be like a slow and painful death. 
Oh, doggo. It's over for you, baby. I'm sorry. Would your first- ah! Jesus! Uh, the sound designers are f***ing me up already! I did not hear that truck! Would your first thought be alien invasion or what? Like, my first thought really would be a meteor. I think a boardwalk is fine. Oh my God. Oh my God. What a cut. Wow, so this little small town in America, is this where it all started? Or did it start all over the place and just like, did they land in multiple <laughs> spots? And it's so sad because at this time they have no idea that their best bet is just staying still and being silent. You know, they have, they have no way of knowing that. Oh, they're okay, they're okay. Oh, this is when their son was alive. Their little baby boy. Love how everybody just in this moment seemed to know to be quiet. Somebody's gonna f it up. Oh, it's doing the echolocation thing with its face. So this thing, this thing isn't happy with the 15 other people it just killed. It's gotta get them all, huh? Gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all. Stop running, stop, stop. Oh, he's gonna save him, huh? Ronnie. Oh, and do we cut to present day? Oh, we cut to present day. Cut to present day, the kid, oh, the kid just sitting there freaking out over the crying baby and all the, the radio static that had to be blasted from the speakers. That was a great way to open this movie, man. I was wondering how they were gonna start it, considering the way it ended. God, another stairs repeat moment. Oh, the nail's still there. What a reveal of that thing. Oh my God. I thought it was gonna start twitching and moving or something. Oh, so they have, I see. So she has a weapon. That's smart. Oh, they're communicating with other people out there, I see. You know what's interesting? Since I've seen the first movie, I've actually been to the area, like the town where they filmed this movie in the Hudson Valley. I like went to a run club there and was running and we ran past one of the houses that's in this movie and then they said this house was really nearby. But there's so many things that have filmed in upstate New York. It's crazy, dude. Fall is my favorite season, but in this world, it's gotta be a nightmare, avoiding all the crunchy leaves. Uh, her toe is still all uh-oh, what do you do now? She's like, yeah, we gotta keep going that way, but there's leaves everywhere, what do you do? Do you just step? <laughs> this is my nightmare, like, I would just fall. I'm such a klutz. Somehow they did it in a day, really impressive, honestly. Maybe this isn't their end destination, but they did make it pretty far. Oh yeah, it is. Wow, they did it in a day, before sunset. Considering they're walking as slow as molasses, that's really impressive. <laughs> Oh, the baby's gonna wake up. So some asshole, he, this asshole right here, presumably Killian Murphy, uh, set a booby trap. That's real nice. He's aiming a gun at them, but I bet he's gonna shoot the creature, not them. Oh no, he's just an asshole. Look at that, wow. Baby, please. <laughs> Oh no, now the baby's starting to cry. Oh, that's why they got the, oh, right, the oxygen. I forgot, it's to knock the baby out. Dude. I'm surprised, there's clearly no aliens nearby. Well, there it is, Q, we had some time. She killed a lot of them, if it took that long. So this guy is just gonna watch them demolish it. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, look how capable they are. I forgot that's why they needed the oxygen tank. Was Oh, more are coming. Oh, my God. It's so sad because that's going to be so bad for the development of the baby. This is probably the vault that's in the... This is probably what they're hiding in, in, in the, on the billboard that I've seen. And I love how they're trying to hide Killian's face here. Like, we, I don't know what's him. It's like, obviously, the guy in the beginning of the movie. Um. Yeah. I wonder what happened to his kid. Is his kid dead? No, he's like horrified now because it's like... He's got alarms going off down here. That's bold move. You got sound. We're low on water and food, but we got vodka, baby. <laughs> Time to party. Oh, that's a powerful vault. That is a really powerful vault. How is he? He's so... We had a bit of a rough day. His dad died the other day. The rub won't last. Yeah, it won't pretty bad we need like a doctor and medical supplies i'm sorry for what the boys oh both of his boy he had two yeah that's right he had a little kid and then I assume that day that day oh and he survived that's so sad 11 weeks ago his his wife she was sick it was 11 oh she just died from illness so they both outlived their children it was when she started screaming <laughs> Yeah. Oh, she couldn't handle the trauma of being at the house without the kids. Oh, this movie, I'm telling you, it's really not like a horror. It's a drama. <laughs> it's a soap opera. Music. It's beyond the sea. Have you heard this? Yes. It's the same song that's been playing over and over the last four months. Beyond the sea. It's a sign. I'm sure there are more people. There is nothing left. That's what he tells himself to stay hold up here. I want you gone tomorrow. Oh, no. Tomorrow? Bruh, that's being a little unreasonable. He's going to so like a wolf. He's not a song. It is a song, but it's a signal. Yeah, yeah, it's both. That's what I think, too, beyond the sea. Oh. Babe, you can't go. You're too young. What happens if her f implant, not implant, but her, her, her like earpiece just dies? It's like the one thing keeping them protected. Did she leave? Keep listening. No way. She left in the middle of the night. You have to find her for me. Oh no. I need you to go and find her for me and bring her back. To oh my God. Listen to me. Emma, I'm begging you. No, Emma. I'm begging you. Please, please. friends. Emma, please. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Lee is gone. I do feel kind of bad for Emmett. He's like, I did not ask you to come here. <laughs> Although he did light a fire as a signal. What do you think was going to happen? She took everything. She took the shotgun and the, the device. She just left her family pretty much defenseless. Oh, wow. Wow, look at all the high heels. That's That really paints a picture, like all those people commuting home from work. The train. Oh, there's going to be dead bodies on this train. Oh, wow. There's going to be like some corpses on this fucking train. Babe, I wouldn't. I wouldn't get on the train if I were you. I would just go around. I don't think it's a great idea, but that's fine. Oh, yeah. There was a skeleton hand right there. Nothing ever good happens on these trains in horror movies, okay? I don't know why she chose to do this and not just go around. <laughs> oh my God, F you, John Krasinski. God damn it. Oh, she wants the first aid kit. It's gonna make a noise, babe, babe. It's gonna make a noise. Oh. Uh-oh. Wow, cutting from to the perspective being in her head and having it be silent was such a genius way of doing that. Yeah, trying to do it all on your own is kind of hard, isn't it? This one's a resilient one. Is Emmett gonna intervene? I bet Emmett's gonna intervene. He's gonna intervene, don't worry, he's gonna be here.
unfortunately, that means more are coming. They're coming! Wow, they really sound like dinosaurs, if dinosaurs were still alive. Oh, she brings up a good point, but it's for your mother and brother. This is the most intense whispered conversation I've ever seen. Oh. Damn, she's she should be a politician. <laughs> oh my god, this baby is just so insanely well behaved. Like, it's the least realistic part about this entire movie. Just a cute little quiet baby. Only cries if, you know, you run with it. <laughs> Oh, no. Dude, no. You need to stay down there with the baby. He's, oh, he's scared she's going to leave him. Oh, no. Hours. Oh, I feel so bad for this son. Like, you can tell he's freaking out. He's probably got the worst anxiety ever in the world. Because his sister has left. His father just died. He lost his baby brother, like, I don't even know, months ago. And now his last relative adult that's here around him is leaving. Oh, God, I don't believe her. I don't believe her. Whenever people say I'll be right back. <laughs> I don't believe it. I think you're lying, Mom. I love how the rest of them are barefoot so they can walk quietly. This guy's doing it in boots. He's probably like, why the f are you guys barefoot? Get some shoes. <laughs> no, no, no. No. What are you doing, kiddo? Is this baby gonna die, y'all? I don't have good... We're almost in the red zone on the oxygen. We really shouldn't be using it in the case of any emergency. I also think it was really reckless of this mother to, like, leave her son, to be honest, in, in this scenario. Oh, God, a sequence of bad things are about to happen! I know that's the point! It's a horror, but I don't like it! Man, you know, after 474 days, I don't think any of these boats would, would be in great condition. Like, I don't know how well they're going to work. And you don't want an electric boat. You need a sailboat so it's quieter. Kid, what are you doing? Why are you up just exploring? What are you looking for? I'm freaking out. Oh, is this the old, like, this is the same store as in the very beginning of the freaking... Oh, she came for medication. She got to be careful about making noise. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm getting really stressed. Thank God this movie's shorter. I don't think I could handle it if it was really long. Mm, let's look at my stress rating. I've been enjoying doing that lately. Oh, it actually says it's really low. I, I don't feel that way, but. That was a person. Oh. Yeah, those are pretty important. I like the choice to have the crutches on the wall and the walker as if like, because those are both things they really could benefit from too. <laughs> but then instead it's it's the oxygen tanks. I don't know what his motivation is. Coming up here to see, he's just trying to learn about Emmett. Is she up here? Is the dead body of his wife up here? <gasps> oh no. Why do I feel like this little girl is going to scream? Don't scream, little girl. Don't scream, please. She's going to scream. She's trying to kill him. What? I knew it. I fucking knew his dead wife was up here. Okay. Yeah, everybody's a little fucked up in this world. Oh, these people are especially fucked up. Oh my god. Their eyes are really red. How do their eyes get so red, huh? Oh, no. He forgot the thing. He forgot the thing. Oh, my God. What is with these people? Are they sunburnt because they live on the water? Like, they look so burnt. Is it just from living by the sea? Ah! Oh, the baby's going to start to cry. Oh, they're running out of oxygen. Yeah, you didn't pull the towel. And this is all, I'm sorry, like, I empathize for the kid, but this is all his doing. If he had just stayed downstairs, none of this would have happened. What's he gonna do? Dive. 
Oh, he's telling her to dive. He remembers. <gasps> that came back around. He's saying jump in the water. He's going to do something. Oh, that wasn't water. That was oil. Fucking badass. B Lots of fire everywhere. Are you kidding me? He's making him stay there. Oh my god, he's fucking drowning. Oh, because he's it's around his neck and that guy's being killed. Oh my god! Ah! There's no way. That's that's the most quiet, creaky metal door I've ever seen. But the baby's gonna be crying. No, you need the gun. Oh my god. Oh, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Oh, it's her. Oh my god. Good job. Oh, no way. No way. He's committed to helping her. Wow. She really sold him on that speech of helping people. Like, you couldn't do enough. Now you can do enough. She really got him. Wow. I love that reveal of that being in his mouth the whole time. Because you think he's just keeping his mouth closed to not make noise. But it's also like, keep the earpiece. <laughs> Whoa. A little community. I hope they're nice here and not all sunburnt and creepy. After that experience, I th I'd be like, can we just go back? Can we go back? Because this is what people are like. What? What? He's about to collapse. He's, <laughs> huh? Is it like a little island that's safe? No way. Oh my God. She was right. She was right to go find them. She was the only one who was determined enough to go do something despite fear. And you were right. Mm-hmm. Oh. Nothing like him. Oh. You are. Oh. Yeah, it's got to be emotional. Especially now that we know, like, the literal skeletons in his closet. Like, the fact that he couldn't let go. He couldn't bury his dead wife. Like, he couldn't even let her go when she died. Like, I don't blame him for that, you know? Oh, he's got the picture of his one of his kids. Although, this is an island. So, like, I mean, it's a pretty big island. But, like, how many resources are here, really, you know? No way. No way. You are not going to tell me one of these things made it over here. Swe I guys, I swear to God, I swear to God, I swear on my f***ing life. I was about to say this and I didn't because I was like, oh, this is a little bit extra. I was literally, oh, don't play the music. Oh my God. I was literally about to say, you better hope one of these things doesn't make it on a boat and get over here as a joke. <laughs> wow, I'm surprised it attacked the guy at the well first and not him. He's got thick plot armor. Why are you sacrificing yourself like this? Why are we getting in the car and... I guess he's just really determined to draw them away, but he started honking a little early. Like, I wouldn't want to get in that thing, especially with a canvas roof like a fucking convertible. Oh my God, that thing is latching on. Ooh, he's just really luring it out of town. The minute he started panicking, I knew it was over for him. You can't ever lose your cool in a movie like this. I knew it was over for him the minute he started panicking. I mean, he was panicking for the right reasons, right? He was worried about his kids, but I was like, it's over for you, bro. Ow! Don't you ever quit! You're all f***ed up from getting hit in the car accident. Come on, man. Oh my God. On air, they're on the air. How cool would it be if she just has a moment where she just blasts it on the radio and it just kills everything? Like, I wish it, I wish the sound could just kill them, you know, permanently. I wonder if it's loud enough if it can. My God, you just got to hope that things aren't creaky and they're all like really well lubricated, <laughs> like hinges and doors and
This is like... <gasps> no way. Not in the drawer. Ah! Uh, ha! <laughs> She's balancing like that! No fucking way. It heard the drawer. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's like, I'm ready for my interview. Are we on the air? Oh, she's getting the medication stuff now. It's going to be lingering somewhere. It, oh, it's behind her, huh? No way. She can't die. Are you kidding me? He is going to sacrifice. He's going to die. He's totally going to die. Maybe not. Maybe he won't die because she's about to take it off your head. <laughs> He's like, oh, sh oh, thank you, babe. Oh, no. She's unknowingly saving her mom and brother, too. Turn it on. Yeah, turn it on. Unplug the headphones. Yes, it's your sister. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you don't like that, do you? Oh my God, she's gonna fucking kill it. Yeah, oh, the gun. Chekhov's gun. Oh, like watching her son grow up, you know, in the worst, in the saddest way. But this is important for him to like take his power back. Man, Emmett's just sitting there like, Oh my god, this girl's a badass. You better hope more don't come. The sound of the gunshot. Every time you shoot one, more come running. That thing, man. She really went for the gory death. <laughs> Damn. Well, she saved the little community, not before they were tormented and a few people died, but at least we saved the little island town. Poor mom and brother and baby are just chilling in the Hudson Valley, not knowing that they could, they could escape to a little sanctuary. Interesting. I definitely enjoyed this one a lot. I think from a story perspective, it's a little less satisfying than the first one, but equally as well executed, if that makes sense. Like from an execution standpoint, from a direction acting standpoint, it's, it's just as good as the first honestly, which is not something you can say for a lot of sequels. So I really enjoyed it from a sound design perspective, equally as great as the first. In fact, I think there were things, well, I was going to say, I think there were things that were even scarier sometimes in certain moments with the sound design, but that's not actually true. I got, I, I had a lot of jump scares in the first one. There were just some really genius moments, like even something as subtle as the whole like car honking at John Krasinski in the beginning of the movie, like you couldn't hear it. And then all of a sudden it was just honking horn. And like a lot of little moments like that were so horrifying, even like the, introduction of these alien-like creatures with Ronnie being like, yeah, like EMS is going to go check it out. Boom. Like just, <laughs> just freaking a barrage of noise when you're least expecting it. It was very, very well done. And like the ending of this movie very much feels like a redemption for these kids taking their power back. You know, the end of the last movie was all about sacrifice. Their father giving the ultimate sacrifice or paying the ultimate price for his kids so that they could live. And then their mother stepping up and really taking care of them and that. I mean, it was up to the daughter too with her earpiece, but like them all as a family realizing what could be done and then her stepping into that role after just having delivered a baby and like being a badass and getting payback for the loss of her husband. But this was like redemption for the kids, like one daughter who really wants to be like her dad and help people and is able to do that. And then the son who's shattered and torn and anxious and a mess at the all the death and loss that he's witnessed over the past few years and watching his family get torn apart and losing his loved ones and then really taking his power back and protecting his mom and sibling and realizing that his sister is on the other end of the radio and he can be brave in that moment when he realizes his sister is with him and that she's okay. Like it really felt like it was about those two kids a lot more in this movie. Something I didn't mention in this outro is the body language for the son I think is really interesting. How in this first movie and throughout the majority of this second film he's covering his ears a lot when there are unpleasant noises around him when people are being harmed or killed or eaten or even just noises that he can't bear to listen to because he
he knows it means an alien creature is gonna come. He covers his ears and closes his eyes and tries to block out the fear and escape the world in which he's in. And he even tries to do this in the vault as the creature is trying to get towards them and trying to kill them. And so he has the headphones on that his sister placed on his head and that moment coming back around with the sister's earpiece device playing on the radio waves and him realizing what it means and he's not alone, it gives him the power to take off the headphones and uncover his ears and be the man he needs to be and step up and save his family. It's so moving and powerful watching him release that fear for a moment. Just something as subtle as that choice of like body language for the character and that shift is so powerful and moving. Ultimately, I, I think I still enjoy the first one more just from like a, a journey of the plot. This one felt a little bit more like I wanted more almost. I wanted it to keep going. I feel like it was a little short. I just want more, you know? I feel like there was a little bit left unexplored with Emmett's character because I think he was an interesting guy, but like it was good. Like I don't really have complaints about the way it was executed. I just want more. That's really, <laughs> I just wanted it to be longer, which is rarely a thing I say about movies, but I actually wanted this to be longer and I, I feel like they could have gone deeper and continued the story. But it was a really impactful, powerful ending and the sound design was just like, Beautiful, as it always is. Immaculately acted as well. I really enjoyed this. I'm glad I finally got to watch it with y'all. And uh, that's pretty much all I have for this video. So if you liked it, please give this one a thumbs up so that I know and I can check out more stuff like this in the future with all of y'all. Perhaps the new Quiet Place that will eventually be coming out. Of course, let me know your thoughts as well as any suggestions you have for me to check out next in the comments down below. Subscribe if you want to. And until the next one, stay golden. Bye.